Today we are making a video on Debian Linux 13 Trixie. So here is the uh, boot menu and I'm using a live boot ISO file. So let's click on live system. So it's going to boot in a live boot. So I already made a videos on Debian 13 desktop, uh, other desktop environments. If you want to check that out, you can check that out in my channel. They are just like a two to three days ago. So I already made the video on uh, Linux Mint 21.2 also uh, with the uh, XFC desktop environment, Mad desktop environment and the Cinnamon desktop environment because there is only three desktop environment available in this thing. So the code name for the uh, Linux Mint 21.2 was the Victoria. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out. Again, I'll be posting two videos daily. So I already made a video on the Exodia OS, which was a bad experience to use at Linux distro. So if you want to still watch it, you can watch it after watching this uh, video. So it says uh, Debian tool uh, in the Debian 13 because it's in a development uh, a process. So this is a development ISO. So people who, are, who want to test it, you can test it. Uh, the people who are like a normal user it's better to stay away with it because it's a development uh, version so you just need to wait for a few more days or a few more months until the developers release it on our official website so just if you want to try it you can try it on the uh, like a virtualization vmware or the virtual box or non-work pc So it is taking a few seconds here to load up the desktop layout. So let's wait few, for a few more seconds because it is pretty common in the development process uh, because this type of ISO files will take a lot of time because they are in a development process. We can't say anything for that. So if it, it was a stable version, it should be in a few seconds, but it's a development branch ISO file. So we need for a few more seconds to load up the desktop environment completely so there should be nothing uh, more changes in the debian 13 because uh, debian 12 bookworm was released a few days ago so just a few minor things should be changed i think usually the linux distro will take like a maximum of uh, 1 minute 40 seconds or 2 minutes uh, or the minimum will be like a 30 to 40 seconds and i forgot to mention that i'm uh, running the kde desktop environment kde plasma and i'm running it on a virtual box not virtual box it's a vmware uh, virtualization with a 80 gb of hard disk 4 gb of ram and with two processors and my cpu is like a i5 12th gen i think it's a 1240p i guess so here is our Debian 13 Trexy with a KDE Plasma desktop environment. So let's first quickly change the display resolution. I think the desktop environment version should be like a 5.27. Let's see uh, everything here. So first uh, let's change the display resolution. I don't think let's go to system settings and find the display there. So even it's a, a development ISO file, it's still working pretty much uh, good instead uh, of a bit of lag here and there. There is nothing like that. So this is good to hear for some viewers. So let's keep it. And we have like something uh, going crazy here. I just said it is good, but right now it's... Uh, Let's try to see the about the system. So here is the about the system. The version is 5.27.5 uh, for the plasma version. Frameworks is 5.107, Qt version 5.15 and the kernel is the latest kernel which is 6.3. The latest kernel is like a 6.5 or 6.4 available but uh, they are using a 6.3 which is, which is still good. Here is my hardware of a CPU. So let's close this thing and uh, let's open the system monitor if it's available. It's available here. So it's way better than the Exodia OS which I uh, made today. It was a very bad experience for me. Uh, I don't know why. 
so it is a bspwm desktop environment so if you want to still watch the video you can watch it and if you want to try it you can try it and uh, share your experience with me with uh, uh, what uh, how good was the xod os so here is the cpu uh, instead of showing i just uh, put it there so the ram consumption and the cpu is here ram is almost like a 1.5 gb of a 4 gb and cpu is uh, pretty much good around like a uh, under 25 percent which is pretty good that's the basic numbers you will see in the kde plasma desktop environments these are the same numbers you will see in every desktop environment not the every desktop environment in the kde plasma in uh, every linux distro so the code name is a trixie and uh, hash seed is a development branch or the development name so here is the history cpu is going pretty much good uh, there is no high peak uh here so just here and here there is a clear stable uh graph here that is pretty good and the process so here are all the processes running right now let me uh make it small and uh, put it aside so i'm going to put this thing here throughout the video so you should be seeing uh, all the cpu and ram every time so let's open the uh, console let's type in here which is terminal let's check the version about console here is the version let's type in commands like uh, inxi if it's available it's not available no problem cat etc issue here is the let's see the kernel version we already saw the kernel version so here is the kernel version so let's type in desktop desktop command is not found no problem let's exit this thing so let's go with the installer if it's uh, available We don't have installer no problem let's open like a few apps and see uh, how good the Debian 13 will handle even it's a uh, uh, like a unstable branch or development branch let's see how good this uh, will handle let's open like a 10 to 12 apps and see let's open the library office which are the heavy uh, resource consuming apps like even the gimp let's open the gimp under the development let's open the kit under the education you don't need that graphics ocular on the internet we have a thunderbird so there is no thunderbird no problem let's open the uh, firefox web browser under the multimedia we don't have a vlc media player but uh, let's open the dragon player here under the office we already opened the library office so science and math settings under the system do we have anything nothing uh install debian here it is let's even open the dolphin file manager keep an eye on the cpu and ram so i think that's it i guess we don't have anything more than that so that is good so we opened like almost uh, one two three four five six seven uh, we don't even uh, have the firefox web browser running it should be open in few seconds i guess right now gimp is uh, loading it's almost like uh, 3 gb as you can see cpu is almost 100 uh, percent you don't see any lag but it is taking a few uh, seconds to open that's pretty 
good to know even it's a stable uh, unstable branch or the development iso file do let me know uh, if you want to test it or not in the comments below so if you are to if you want to test it you can test it on the uh, virtualization like a vmware or uh, virtual box or any non work pc don't try it on your main pc or a work pc because sometimes it's going to ruin your pc because it's not a stable iso file so stay away with it so if you are normal user don't even try to uh, download this thing if you are a guy who want to test uh, uh, the new linux distros or the upcoming linux distro you can try it so if you want to try it uh, try it as a virtualization or a non work pc so i think we opened almost every app i guess so let's uh, see the cpu and ram it's almost like a 3 gb and the cpu is almost like a 70 100 percent so there is no stable graph let's go to the pro history and see as you can see the graph is going crazy let's go back to the overview and uh, make it smaller and let's check the version of uh, all the apps and end the video because there is nothing uh, other than that So the Doll Dragon Player version is 23.04.2. So the Dolphin File Manager version is 22.12.3. Uh, Let's close this thing. Wait. 22.12.3. Discover. Let's open the game. about game uh, 2.10.3 34 so the library office version 7.4.5.1 awesome let's close this thing also you already saw the game so no need to open that thing so the ocular version 22.12.3 uh, KD Plasma every app will be the version same so no need to open every app so this will be the same version in uh, uh, almost every app of the KD Plasma desktop environment so we have discover firefox let me go to my channel let's type in youtube.com forward slash 9 to 5 linux this is my channel url you should be watching already in the youtube so i don't have anything to show you in the uh, browser so i just want to show you my channel instead of showing anything i'm using a vpn so it's it uh, should take a few seconds here so i'll be posting two videos if you want to subscribe you can subscribe it's clearly up to you so the latest videos I already made like a MX Linux 22, 23 RC2, 21.2, Debian 13, the Cinnamon desktop and the GNOME desktop. Now it's a KD Plasma desktop. So you can check it out if you want to. So let's close this thing. Let's type in the password. Should be like a live, I guess. L-I-V-E. Work. So the updates are here. I need to show this uh, because after the bookworm, you should be getting these are all the updates. So these are all the updates right now available, which is almost like a, a 80 MB of file size. Not a heavy uh, file size here. It's just a 80 MB. So let's close this thing also. I think we covered everything just uh, these are all the same uh, KD Plasma desktop features so no need to show everything here just a same volume thing internet connection some uh, removable disk all these things calendar date all the things are the same basic things so no need to show everything here the installer took ages to open because uh, we need to put in the password which is uh, live uh, small cap which is small letters welcome to the calamitous installer for debian 12 bookworm 
so it still says the debian 12 because it's in a still development branch so you should be seeing in a future like a debian 13 trexy so these are all the same uh, installation steps so location keyboard language next partitions choose your partitions this is only for the viewers who want to uh, test it they can do this all things choose your hard disk if you are normal user it's better not to uh, try it so username password these are all the same things you need to type in the password the password should be same in this uh, both the boxes login automatically click on next summary should be available and clicking on install will be uh, install your uh, Debian 13 on the hard disk or uh, virtual hard disk whatever option you choose there so that's the installer and let's see the CPU and RAM and end the video this is the CPU and RAM right now 2.1 GB after opening all the apps and closing applications history process running right now that's it for the video again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps me make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out